Some political punches thrown on the very first day of early voting in the Williamson County District Attorney's race. On one side, incumbent DA John Bradley. On the other, current County Attorney Janet Duty, who's using a very high-profile murder case against her opponent. KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle has more. She doesn't know how to find the courtroom, much less try a case. You know, that is um, not true. Back and forth at its best. Jana Duty has never tried a single felony case in her life. My office prosecutes juvenile felony crime. The argument over who's more qualified to be the next Williamson County DA hit a boiling point today with the case of Michael Morton. He was convicted of his wife's 1986 murder and recently set free thanks to DNA testing. Bradley didn't try the case, but for six years he fought that testing. By withholding evidence, refusing to do DNA testing, a serial killer was allowed to walk the streets for 25 years. It's become a campaign John point Bradley for duty. Violated Someone Bradley legal points legal out represented him and the sheriff during the course evidence. of the Morton case. As Jana Duty stood up in court and told the judge that we acted professionally, diligently, and prudently. And now she has lied to the public to pretend that she was never involved in all of this so that she can use this as a political issue. We were not arguing that DNA testing should not have been done. Um, it was just on the merits of does the federal court have jurisdiction to have the case, to hear the case. John Bradley did have a part in this. And uh, Jana Duty promises she'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Duty's recently received the endorsement of Caitlin Baker, the daughter of another murdered woman. DNA has connected another man, Mark Norwood, to that case and Morton's wife. I know that what people really need is an experienced prosecutor who will keep the crime rate low. Bradley just received his own endorsement. Governor Rick Perry praising his support of crime victims. How much I respect him and, and admire him and the work that he's done. Uh, is John Bradley. And I respect Governor Perry. I don't necessarily respect um, him getting in the middle of a race, um, you know, in a county that he doesn't live in.